In this video, we will be talking about how to create a form so that you can submit your blog post from the front end of your WordPress website. Coming up. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where we create videos for bloggers, startups and entrepreneurs like you and me. So if you are new here, consider subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Alright, so in today's video, we will be creating a front end form where user can just go ahead and use that form to publish the blog post on the WordPress website. Now this form is helpful in many ways. For example, if you have a blog or a website where you want to invite a lot of bloggers to do guest posting, so instead of giving them a WordPress backend access, you can just go ahead and create a form like this where they can just submit the blog post from the website front end. And then you as an admin can approve this post. And if you have a business website on WordPress for your client and they are not very comfortable using the backend of the WordPress, again, you can use this form so that they can just submit the blog post on the website easily. So let's see how it is done. All right. So right now I'm in the WordPress backend and we need to add a plugin. So we click on add new. So we will be searching for WP user front end all right so here is our plugin so we will click on install and after that we will click on activate so we have an option here it says user front end from here we will go to post forms all right so we will add form let's start with the basic template of post form so we'll click on create form so here are the fields it says post title we will enter the post title here from this option, we can select the category where the post will go. And below that, we have a normal WordPress editor where we can type in all the content. And below that, we can add the feature image as well. If there is an option in your theme to add excerpts, you can do that. And below that, we have an option to add tags. Pretty quick and easy and all the options we see while creating a blog post. Right, let's go ahead and check the settings. Post type will be post. Now this is the option we need to check. It says post status, which means whenever someone fill up the form from the front end, what should be the status of that published post? If you are just creating this for your client, then you can leave it to published. Otherwise, if you want to review the post for before it get published, then you can uh, assign it to draft or private. So right now I'm just leaving it to published. So I'll keep it to publish because this form will be only used by the owner of this website. So I don't have to worry about the published blog post. So the default post category will be articles because they will be publishing articles only from the front end. Now the next option is redirected to which means once they fill up the form, they will be redirected to either the newly created post, which will be only valid if you keep the status of the post as published or you can choose the option as same page or you can assign a custom page or you can enter a custom URL where they will get redirect once they fill up the form. So for my case, I'll go ahead and keep it on the same page and on that page, they, it will show a message. Right, you can enter any messages, whatever you want. Comment status, I'll keep it as close for now. And submit button text will be create post. Sounds good to me. You can enable saving the draft, which is not valid in my case. Form template. So if you have any template for this form, you can go ahead and choose that. So I'm okay with whatever the default template is and bunch of options that you can just go ahead and play around with. So here's a section of notification. So once a new post is published or this form is filled, the admin or the email ID you enter here will get a notification that a post has been published. So you can enter any email ID here. By default, it will take your admin email ID. So you can enter it as per your requirement. So I just go ahead and save this form. All right, so we go to form editor and from here, I go ahead and copy the short code of this form. So now we need to create a new page where we will add this form 
and we'll use that page to create our future blog post. So I'll name it as blog post form and in the content, I'll just go ahead and paste the short code. Let me just go ahead and change the permanent link. So we will change the URL to blog form and then we can click on publish. Alright, so let's go ahead and view the page and try to post a blog. So now we are on this page and let's go ahead and try to create a blog post. Alright, so I'm just go ahead and fill up some sample details. Alright, so I have entered a few lines here and for the feature image. Alright, so I'll go ahead and add a feature image as well. I'll leave the excerpt and tag as it is and after that I just go ahead and click on create post. So the message is here, the post is live now. So let's go ahead and see if the blog is published. So I go to my blog section from here and as I can see the test blog post is already published. So this is our test blog post. We have the title here with the featured image and here is our sample text. And if you go to our backend in the post section, we can see that our test post is already here. So this is how you can create a front end form and use it to create new blog post on your WordPress website. So if you find this video helpful, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.